So let's say you've got a great picture, but it doesn't exactly fit the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. You've got the bars on top, maybe the bars on the side, or heaven forbid you have to work with footage that was shot vertically on a cell phone. It happens. So what do you do? All right, a couple images here that I shot in LA last week. Uh, see the top and bottom bars here? We wanna get rid of those. If you're going for that look, if you don't mind how that looks with the bars on the side, that's fine. Um, what I almost exclusively do is what you're about to see. So click on the first clip or the first uh, image or, or whatever it is, hold down the Alt key, and while you're clicking, bring it, bring it up, and what you just did is you duplicated it. So now there's two on top of each other. The top layer is the one you're going to see. If you've got two pieces of glass, let's say, on top of each other, the top one is what you're going to see. Underneath, you'll see it if it goes beyond this black part because that's the edge of the image. So with that bottom image selected, go up to the effect controls and scale it up until it fills the frame. Okay. Now, it doesn't look perfect if you look here closely. Let me make this a little bit larger so you can see. You can see where the sky ends here, and it looks a little bit wonky here with uh, with that line. And you're not looking to make it flawless. I mean, it happened to be pretty clean with this particular image, but it's not always going to be the case. So what you do want to do is go to Effects, Gaussian Blur, drop that on there, and just ratchet up the blurriness. I usually do somewhere around 30 or so. And there you have it. So you've eliminated the black bars, and you're kind of still telling the eye, hey, this is still part of the image, but uh, you know we did this on purpose. We know what we're doing. So for this, same thing. Hold down Alt, so you duplicate it, bring it up. Now you've duplicated that image. Again, with the bottom layer selected, you scale it up so it fills the frame. Okay. Now, see, this is a better example because it's not always going to line up perfectly uh, this was this was pretty close even without the Gaussian blur but um, you know this right here obviously is not gonna line up and it can't just because of how uh, the wave is and how the image is overall again dropping Gaussian blur ratchet that up to looks good to your eye but you want to keep it roughly consistent if you can do a, a bunch of like a slideshow let's say you know keep the blurriness there so actually one thing you could do let me delete this Gaussian blur go back to this one here click on that control C or command C go over to here Click on that other layer you want to apply the Gaussian Blur to, Control or Command V, and you've just applied the same exact Gaussian Blur percentage to that image as well. Go back to the video, same deal, Alt, bring it up, there you go. Now make sure you don't move it around because then it's not going to sync with the sound, it's going to look, it's going to be crazy. Um, so again, Control V, you've already blurred it, now just blur, now just blow it up. Now with that, you might choose if you want to, you know, maybe, because this is kind of an extreme example, if you want to do it that way, um, you know, just, just whatever looks good to you. But typically, I usually shoot for, for the center. So we've got that. Looks pretty good. Much better than the black bars on the side, for sure. There we go. We don't have to hear him again. But that's the idea. So there you have it, hopefully that helped you. If it did, hit subscribe. I do have new videos coming out every week with tutorials on Premiere, gear reviews, how-tos, things like that. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter at the underscore Chris Bryant. Take care.